This is Kelso Sturgeon. Thank you very much for joining me for another session at my College of Advanced Sports Handicapping. I have a lot to talk about today. I suggest you grab a pencil and paper if you don't already have one because we have some rather extensive uh, and important college basketball injury reports. Before we get started, you know, the BCS that supposedly determines the national football champion has always been a farce and nothing illustrates it more than what happened after uh, 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 Notre Dame lost to uh, Alabama 40, uh, 44, 42 to 14 in the national championship game. Even after that game, which Alabama absolutely destroyed, walked all over, did whatever it wanted against Alabama, one of the computers uh, systems that is used to determine who plays in this game still rated Notre Dame the number one team in the country. Uh, always. Uh, 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 approach with great skepticism anything that comes out of com the computers at the Coley Matrix. That's the one that said Notre Dame, after it got blown away by Alabama, was still the best team in the country. Absolutely ridiculous. Now in the NFL playoffs today, uh, two standout games. We have uh, uh, Baltimore at Denver. Uh, Denver is, and get this, depending on where you bet, Denver is either minus nine, minus nine and a half, or minus ten, uh, depending on where you bet. Uh, the total in the game is 46 in most places, 46 and a half in others. Game time temperature, 19 degrees, 20% chance of snow. Uh, but, uh, you know, both these teams are, are cold weather teams, so it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it's also of note that uh, Denver and uh, Baltimore played at Baltimore uh, uh, four games ago, and that Denver won that game 34 to 17. Might remind you that there, regardless of what you hear, there is no correlation uh, uh, between uh, beating a team twice in the same season or twice in a month or three times in the same season. That's all uh, fiction. There's no supporting evidence that says you can't beat a team five times in the same season uh, if you played them. Just keep that in mind. In the second game, we, we have uh, uh, the Green Bay Packers at the San Francisco 49ers. These teams met in the first game of the season uh, uh, in Green Bay. San Francisco won 30 to 22 with Alex Smith at uh, quarterback, new quarterback today, as you well know. Uh, San Francisco was either a three or two and a half point favorite, uh, depending on where you bet. The total is a solid 45 uh, across the board. Uh, 50, uh, 50 degrees in San Francisco today should be ideal uh, football weather. Uh, I always keep my uh, eye on the sky on West Coast games, especially with the big weather front moving in. But it uh, looks like it'll be uh, a decent day for football. In the NBA, just a couple of quick notes. Uh, you know, uh, Sacramento may be without uh, uh, DeMarcus Cousins, who ranks as one of the great idiots of all time in NBA basketball. Cousins averaging 17 points a game, 10 rebounds a game, uh, may be suspended uh, for uh, today's game with Miami. Check late and make sure that if you're using Sacramento that, uh, that Cousins is there. Uh, this guy has tremendous basketball talent. He just has, he's got a, a, a million dollar, a million dollars worth of talent and five cents worth of, of, uh, of brain. A bad situation. Uh, Washington, uh, hosting Atlanta today, gets back, uh, probably gets back guard John Wall, their best player who's been out the entire season uh, with a knee injury. There's some chance that guard Jordan Crawford will not play for Washington today. He has an ankle injury. You need to check on that late, too. Now, let's, before we get into college basketball, let's run down a couple of things here. You know, I'm going for my uh, uh, another 100-unit college blowout uh, game of the week today. I'm 7-1 and one in these games uh, this season. Uh, intend to make it 8-1 and one after today. Have a perfect spot, a team that has a 90% chance to win and cover, just as the other teams did. Once again, 7-1 and one in all my 100-unit uh, 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 college blowout games this season. Intend to win another one today. That game's available on this website and toll-free at 1-800-755-2255. Also, I put together what I think is a dynamite package, and we'll discuss the games in just a minute. A dynamite three-game TV package today. Number one, Duke at number 20, uh, North Carolina State. Number eight, Minnesota at number five, Indiana. And number 10, Missouri at uh, Mississippi. Uh, great games. You can get them all for just $25 once again on this website. Toll free at 1-800-755-2255. In the NFL today, uh, a 50-unit play tops the day. We'll also have, uh, obviously, a unit rated play on the second game. Also releasing five-unit uh, 
uh, totals on both games and a five unit parlay. So a big day today, Saturday, 100 units, uh, uh, my college blowout game of the year, 50 units in the NFL, uh, plus the opportunity to go 5-0 and with uh, all sides totals and parlays, and that outstanding uh, three-team uh, marquee uh, uh, basketball uh, 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 package. Once again, all available here, all major credit cards accepted. Now let's get into these injury reports, and they're extensive today, uh, uh, in, at least in their importance, and, and you really need to pay attention. Now Duke, uh, that a very important game at, uh, uh, at North Carolina State, uh, will be without uh, forward Ryan Kelly, averages 13 points and 5 rebounds a game, outstanding player, and to say that he will be missed, uh, is quite an understatement because Duke has no bench to start with. This is a team that's played basically seven players all season. Now they'll be without him. Richmond, uh, 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 at LaSalle, uh, will be without uh, forward uh, uh, Derek Williams, averages 13 points a game, almost seven rebounds, a big loss. Uh, Drexel uh, will be without uh, guard uh, Damian Lee at home against uh, James Madison today. Uh, Lee, 18 points a game, 5 rebounds, a key player, just keep that in mind. Texas San Antonio hosts Louisiana Tech, uh, will be without the forward uh, 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 Jerome, Jerome Hall, uh, I beg your pardon, Jerome Hill, 13 points a game, 6 rebounds a game, uh, out indefinitely with a knee injury. Uh, Missouri, now this is a big one, this is Missouri at Mississippi today, uh, and uh, Believe me, neither side uh, has, a, has any gift in this game. Missouri will be without forward uh, Lawrence Bowers out with a knee injury. Bowers averages 16 points and almost uh, seven, point, uh, 7 rebounds a game. Very important and he will be missed. Illinois State guard uh, Tyler Brown has been suspended out indefinitely. Averages 15 points a game. Uh, uh, Illinois State host Drake today. That's another big, uh, a big loss for Illinois State. Eastern Kentucky, now this is tomorrow, but pay attention. Eastern Kentucky may be without guard. Uh, uh, Glenn Cozy, uh, severe finger injury, averages 15 points a game. Uh, they host Moorhead State on Sunday. Now let's get into these two marquee games that I spoke of. You know, uh, Duke is one of two unbeaten teams left in uh, uh, in college basketball, 15 and 0, but uh, w without uh, uh, without uh, uh, a bench and with a key player uh, Ryan Kelly out, uh, you know they're they're going to be up against it at North Carolina State today. You can take that to the bank. North Carolina State's won nine straight games. They lost two games. Uh, they lost at Michigan, 79 to 72, and it is of note Michigan is uh, undefeated, 16 and 0, the second ranked team in the country. They also lost at a neutral court to Oklahoma State on the night they, they couldn't, uh, uh, their, their field goal percentage was just a dreadful 35% uh, and they got blown out in that spot. So Duke and North Carolina State, the number will be in play in that one and I think I've got the answer. Now we have uh, 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 Michigan and Indiana. Uh, uh, Michigan absolutely uh, devastating this season, uh, has uh, won its games, uh, all uh, 16 of them by an average of uh, 22 points, uh, very powerful, but you know they're going into Assembly Hall in Indiana. Indiana's 10-0 at home this year, one of the strongest home courts uh, in the country. The only loss that Indiana has, has uh, uh, suffered this season was a two-pointer on a neutral floor to uh, Butler, an outstanding team. Now we have Missouri. Uh, at Mississippi, and uh, this is a game that really deserves some uh, some detail, and, and I spent a long time handicapping it, confident I do have the winner. But you know, with Bowers out, Mrs., uh, Missouri's compromised a little bit. Missouri is a very talented basketball team, loaded with blue chip players. Uh, its two losses this season came at UCLA 97-94, watched every minute of that game. Missouri should have won it. Uh, they couldn't get any of the calls late and uh, ended up getting beat at UCLA. They were the best team in that game. They also lost uh, uh, to Louisville on a neutral floor, 84-61, to had an off day, uh, although Louisville's an outstanding basketball team. So Missouri's two losses came to good teams uh, at UCLA and on a neutral floor to uh, Louisville. Uh, Ole Miss, uh, kind of a sleeper here. Uh, o Ole Miss is uh, uh, 
uh, is 12 and 2 this season. Its two losses came on a neutral floor to Indiana State, one of the most underrated teams in the country, and a team, by the way, I won a 100 unit play on uh, this week. Uh, against Bradley, lost to Indiana State by two points, and then lost at Middle Tennessee by uh, three, 65 to 62. Middle Tennessee is a very good team, especially at home. So here's a Mississippi team uh, that's lost two games by a total of five points, hosting Missouri. Ought to be a real barn burner. Now in these three games, I really have found the edges to win, and once again, you can get that package for just twenty-five dollars. Now let me run down Saturday's plays one more time. My 100-unit uh, college blowout game of the uh, of the week, 7-1 and one in these games, going for my eighth one today. A 50-unit play highlights the NFL playoffs today, and I have that three-team marquee TV package that uh, we've just run down. Now, I'll be back here on Sunday morning with a complete rundown of the uh, NFL playoffs. My 200-unit NFL uh, uh, divisional uh, championship playoff game of the year on Sunday plus basketball. Everything available on this website or toll free at 1-800-755-2255. The price is right and I do take all major credit cards.